Hi everyone! Today we're gonna talk about tiles, why I chose these kind of tiles, and then I'll show you my tiles. So today, everything about tiles. I don't have any 2.5D tiles, so I'm gonna use this uh, dice tower that I made. Should be enough since it's actually using the 2.5D method to actually create the tray here. And the first thing I want to talk about is the 2.5D method, as you can see. I really liked that system for its uh, aesthetics, mostly. It's pretty much the only thing I really liked about it. Uh, it's aesthetic, it's working, it's fun, you can create a lot, like here I got a lot of moss. Uh, I have a, a brick pattern with a few uh, green stuff around here. I have a lot of things uh, going on in this uh, in this tray of a dice tower. But there's a few things I didn't like about that system. The first being, it's not portable. I, this is really something I really like in systems. It is something I need. The system must be portable because I don't play at home. I play at a gaming store and they don't have room for me to leave my stuff there. So I have to be able to move it over there. And this is a single tile. Now imagine if I had like 10, 20, 50 of them, which is pretty much what's needed to have a real system that's work that's working so no it's really not portable the last thing I didn't like about the system is that it makes things too small even if you want bigger tile like giant tile like this big to have a really big room it's the way the minis works that makes it claustrophobic you make tiles and you make a 16 by 16 which is 4 inches and it's really great it's supposed to be a room that is 20 by 20 is big it's supposed to be big I mean my my house my bedroom is 20 by 20 about it is about 20 by 20 and honestly it's a lot of space but in this game the minis and their spacing is just weird so it makes things claustrophobic uh, corridor seems like there's really really small uh, there's no place for it to work on there uh, there's really not not enough and it's really claustrophobic environment is great if you have melee fighters and everything but when it comes to ranged characters your players will feel left out this is what actually happened to me on that single session that I did use 2.5 D tiles and the, the ranged players were just not happy. They, they seemed like they, they told me they, they thought they were useless the whole way, the whole way in. Uh, this is something I really didn't like, so the claustrophobia had to go away. So, this is why I decided to go for 2.5D next. 2.5D next. A really great system when you think about it. Uh, I had caverns, I had my uh, actual tiles with uh, my actual walls with the 12 inch, 6 inch, 3 inches and 1.5 inch for doors and everything. I even tried something else and ended up with this uh, root like uh, walls for caverns and everything. But in the end I didn't have the flooring like this map under it and even if I did uh, the one thing I didn't like about 2.5D Next is uh, it's not aesthetics. It doesn't have aesthetics in it. Uh, seriously, you're just putting like these, like you're just putting a bunch of walls like these, and then there, and you have a door here or a cell room or whatever, or it's just a cavern that start that ends there. But seriously this is not aesthetics even if I add the, the mats for the floor it's just not right the characters cannot have the sense of belief in that it's just not happening it's a good visual but it's just not happening 
So one of the things I like, this is why I kept on this system for quite some times, it's its portability. I mean, I have ton of these, a few of these, and a lot of these, and honestly, it takes no place at all in, in, my, uh, in my things. Uh, you can create the rooms the way you like them. If I want a really big room, I'm just creating a really big room. If I want a small one, if I want a small one, I can as well. See, there's there's a lot of good thing happening on with this system. But it's just not aesthetics and the belief is something players actually need. Uh, this leads me to, and I don't have them, this leads me to uh, the Wylock tiles. Uh, the small one, the two by the, the two by twos that you just assemble, uh, kind of like Lego block, like these. You just uh, you just put them around and do stuff. It's like you're building the room piece by piece and everything. It's a really awesome system. It's a really awesome system for what it is. It's aesthetics and. It can create its own spaces. If you want claustrophobic, you can. If you want big rooms, you can as well. Just need more tiles. Uh, my only, the only draw drawback there is to it, and that's why I never got there. It's because it doesn't pass my test, my portability test. Wylock says it's not taking places and everything, and I do agree with it that it's much less than act an actual. 2.5D tile system, but it's still a whole tray that I have to keep around, and I don't have that kind of room in my boxes. Beyond the doors and everything else, I just don't have the, the room. It's not really portable, seriously. You have to be gentle with it, and I'm not. I'm a chaotic guy. I just throw things in, and that's it. Which leads me to my next uh, and final uh, tile system, which is the new Tilescape. I really like the new system, the tilescape system of the M Scotty. Uh, it's reminiscent of the old maps that we used to to have back in the days. Um, we had flat maps, 2D maps that just were great for what they were and everything. What I like of this system is that here I have a ton of tiles. Seriously, I have pretty much everything I really need for tiles. I can make big rooms, I can make smaller rooms, I can make everything I want with this. And honestly, it's taking this space. <laughs> it's seriously, it's not taking space at all. So that's what I like about it. It's portable, really portable. Uh, it has its aesthetics. Meaning that you have your tiles that you just put down and create your stuff and everything. And you just have your room. Here I created a simple room quite, uh, quite easily. And honestly, players with, with the stuff on it, players can actually believe in that much more than the 2.5D next tiles. Seriously. Um, it has the aesthetics, it has everything. Uh, the next thing I want to say about Tilescape, they are flip tiles, which is great for the system because they can be whatever you want them to be. And that's great. Seriously, that's really great. Uh, so if I want to have, say, uh, wood on one side and the room changes to something else here I am really great it does the job and it's really simple so I really like this system and going forward I'll keep to it a small thing I want to say about this tiles game is that we use actually DM Scotty and I actually use corks and somehow mine didn't end up like his like they're not completely bendable they're still solid but they're not rock solid uh, I can still bend them if I give them a go for it and seriously the Scotty styles didn't do that so I'm thinking there are materials that are different from one for one store from the to the other uh, they have different cork and 
some of them really takes wedding or things like that really badly. So what I suggest is that if your tiles, uh, once the tiles are done for, uh, put some weight into it. I put my D&D books on them for like four days. Seriously, I've, uh, I've decided to let them there for quite a while four days to a week at least and it actually worked well so I'm gonna say it takes a lot of times for the paint and the uh, glue to actually uh, get into the tile one point I wanted to do to talk about uh, before I go for the next step is uh, Sharpies Seriously, if you're like me and you cannot seem to do detailed cracks and everything on your tiles, look at these, they're awesome, all done with a Sharpie. Seriously, it's much better. So if you're like me and you just want detailed work, just go with the, pen, the, the Sharpie, it works great. That's all I have to say for that. Uh, what's next for the future to me uh, when it comes to Tilescape? What's next in the future is fronts, when I'm be done, and I'm gonna use these flippable tiles, and I'm gonna create some wilderness into it. Like, I'll have a green here for nature-like, for grass, and on this side I'll have pretty much a grass and water. So if I need a pool of water or anything, my tiles will be able to do both. And from that point on, I'd be able to do what I need. So the next things you'll see from me are fronts and wilderness tiles. So that's it for today's episode of d, &D Basement. This is why I like Tilescape and I hope you enjoyed that episode. Uh, if you liked the episode, so please like it. And if you want to see more of these videos, which are pretty far and wide, but I'm still doing it, uh, just hit the subscribe button. Thank you for watching, and I hope to see you again.